Hello, everyone, and welcome to the uh, first episode of a... Oop. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, welcome to the first episode of a new series that I'm going to start doing on this channel, which is going to be all about uh, my art education that I'm doing uh, with myself. So, basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some master studies. And this is for Noah Bradley's Art Camp. If... Uh, if you guys are interested in learning about art yourself, I would highly recommend checking that out because it's pretty good. The value that you get from his uh, art courses are insane, uh, and it's just absolutely amazing, So, um, for especially for the price that you pay. So there, it's just full of content. So as you can see, here's a uh, page that I have. Um, these are some old master studies that I did. Uh, none of them are as good as this one that I'm doing, though. So you can see side by side this is the original and this is the uh, one that I'm doing right now I uh, went ahead and copied part of this one over here so that I, I could uh, see it a little bit closer side by side so that it would be easier to study and basically yeah that's all that I'm up to right now uh, just just copying things and by copying things it's not necessarily that you're stealing you're just learning from the artists you're unlocking their secrets by studying their uh their you know their techniques and the way that they make colors and things like that so uh yeah uh if i turn on the layers here and if i turn off the know, which one is it yeah right there you can see how much we have left to do so all we have to do is basically fill in this c area right here add in peter right there uh do the shore as well this area is pretty much finished um a little bit more texture right here there's just basically a block that's in there and then we have to add in the trees over here the trees will be easy compared to the sea though uh, at least that's what I'm anticipating so let's go ahead and jump right into it uh, we'll go ahead and oops, put that back there there we go and one problem that I'm noticing uh, right here, especially, is that the values are too light. It's it's too um, looks like there's too much light shining on there. So I'm gonna darken this area. We're also going to uh, this this part of what I assume is uh, Jesus's clothing. Uh, by the way, this is uh, uh, this this painting is Alessandro Magnosco's Sea uh, Jesus or Christ at the Sea of Galilee. I think is is the title of it, and so. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what the painting is of. And I'll go ahead and explain to you why I really like this painting. Uh, the reason that I like this so much is because it's... It's really cool because it combines two of the things that I really like in uh, classic, uh, classical artwork, which is landscape uh, paintings, like, as you can see here, beautiful landscape, as well as these uh, uh, this biblical imagery. So you can see... Um, Jesus and Peter sinking in the water. And so right here, you can see it's it's pretty much, it, this could be a, its own painting, right? But no, it's 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 also included as a landscape. So it's almost like there's two paintings in one. And you could even, uh, you know, zoom in on different parts of these paintings, like right around here, and they could be its full painting too, which uh, it could be true with uh, lots of different other stuff like that. So um, wait, why is Manga Studio running? Close that. Uh, close that. We need all the power that we can get. All right. Um, okay, so first what I want to do is I want to fix this area right here. As you can see, it's a bit too textured. We just need to uh, figure out how we're going to match these colors. So I'm going to put it up there. And I'm not using the color picker right now because... Basically, the objective of this exercise is just to get better at identifying the colors that we have here and translating the forms over. So um, we need a bit more green. So there you go. This is basically what I do all day, in case you were wondering. Uh, just adjusting hues and values. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. 
You know that sometimes I uh, kind of have to be a little bit quiet when I'm doing things like this because it can be difficult to talk and concentrate on painting at the same time. But uh, oh, I tried to turn on some music. It was way too loud. There we go. But yeah, hopefully you can get this looking good. Okay, that. No, that's that's not that's not right. Okay, we need we'll put the opacity down. That'll help. That looks good. Hold on, I need to respond to something. I literally just upgraded to a 970. And I... One of my, um, one of the people who was watching one of my videos suggested that I try to uh, fly through, use Elytra in Minecraft in an Extreme Hills uh, environment with uh, Seuss shaders on and a uh, bump mapping texture pack, <laughs> which would probably crash the computer, but it would be fun. It would be a fun experiment, basically. Okay, so uh, what color is this? Very desaturated, whatever it is. Okay, we're just gonna add in those spots right there. Is it not? There we go. There we go. And one more here. One there, right? And one here. Okay. Yeah, that looks like a, that looks a lot better. I think I might give it a tiny bit more green though. So we'll turn down the opacity again. Let's see how that changes it. Uh, wait, we can just You can barely tell, but... Oh no, you can tell, you can tell. Yeah, I think that looks better right now. Okay, um... I'll go ahead and we'll darken the values up here. Oh, you see there's a bunch of white spots that have been left over. Uh, we, we need to get rid of those, so... Switch brushes. Oil canvas too, reduce the size. And now we'll put, we need green. Put down there, more saturated I think. Then some gray here, there we go. Fill in like that. There we go. I'll swap some of that. Fill in that blank area. And then up here we have what? We definitely have some something like that. And then more green like this, fill in, more saturated, oops that's too saturated. I know I'm uh, being really nitpicky here but I really really want this uh, thing to turn out really nicely. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check the stream on my 
iPod and make sure that everything is working correctly. That make sure that you can hear me and stuff like that. So, I guess I'm just gonna keep talking because, with my luck, I'm probably gonna tune in right at the spot where I'm being silent. So, I don't know. Hmm. Very, very quiet audio. Let's see if we can turn that up. Um, settings, settings, audio, mic boost. Let's try five. That might help. Okay. Because right now the microphone is positioned like off to the side and it's not close to my mouth. And so. Normally when I'm doing stuff like that, I can get a, uh, you know, it's close to my mouth, so it's a little bit louder. All right, there we go. Uh, good, good, good. All right, we'll just keep on going like nothing ever happened. All right, uh, going through here, make this darker again, then we put Oh yeah, I can hear the mic boost now. It's working. It's working very well. Very nice, very nice. Okay, uh, down a bit, desaturate. Put that there. Uh, desaturate it again. That's okay, we can just go over it and desaturate it again. All right, just a couple. more dark and some of these turbulent waves and more of the yellow green Now, I know that this may not be the most exciting thing to watch, but that's not stopping me. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever watched the uh, Dead Mouse streams, you know, like the mu musician, but his streams are pretty boring. The, he doesn't even talk. He's like, uh, he just basically films himself inside of his studio. And uh, sometimes he's just, uh, you know, just looking on the computer or stuff and stuff. I mean, I know he's like supposed to be making music and things, but you know, you can't see what he's doing. He can't see. Uh, you can't hear anything usually. It's a. Uh, it's uh to me it's kind of boring at least because you can't you don't know what he's doing. It's just basically like watching a celebrity through a hidden camera or something like that. It's a. Uh, kind of weird. Uh, but I figure if someone like that, uh, doing doing something like that, can attract so many viewers just by sitting and uh, watching, uh, or you know, working whatever, not even showing what he's doing, surely there would be hope for me because I'm actually talking and doing things that people might think are, is cool. So <laughs> if you're interested in art, that is. Okay, so uh, what now? Close enough. I feel like I need to 
get rid of this area just so that I can see what's in my painting what's not there we go maybe it would be a good idea to use a smudge brush and put this all together like what are these huge pink spots right there that's not supposed to be that big maybe I was just really tired when I did this all right let's see if we can use a smudge brush to correct this okay Why isn't it? Why isn't it working? Oh, it's because I'm on the wrong layer. Duh. Is that this, why the smudge brush wasn't? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Problem solved. Problem evaded. All right. Smudge, smudge. Yeah, it looks good from far away. Go ahead and darken that up right there. That looks a bit too bright. Let me put that here. And what next? I think I think we need to. Okay, now we'll go ahead and work on the arm. I think that the C is looking pretty good. All right. Um, it also kind of occurred to me that the uh, proportions of the image are not exactly correct. Uh, this guy is way too low. Um, but it's okay. We can we can pretty much uh, just shift the image up and then. And down there and then it'll be a lot better so not to worry not to worry everything is under control arm looks a bit too straight here so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna
bend it a little bit like this. We're going to add in some of the uh, shadows, such as right here. And here. shadows like this hey big buddy How's it going? I'm doing an art stream just for you. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you what we're doing right now. We're doing a master study. This is for Noah Bradley's art camp. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty well. Today has been pretty nice so far, very relaxing, very uh, productive so far. Um, and I'm doing another YouTube video, doing another stream. So basically, we have a master study right here. This is uh, Alessandro Magnosco's Christ at the Sea of Galilee. So we have the image right here, and we have my study right here. So I'm basically taking a look, a very, very detailed look, about at how he made this image, what are the elements that make it so successful, what kind of colors is he using, for instance, what kind of composition. And I'm trying to copy it over here and learn all of his secrets on how he made this image. So. Uh, we're just filling in the sea right here. We're adding some more shadows and some things. And it's just pretty good. How are you doing? I just woke up a few minutes ago, <laughs> and so so I've had a pretty good day so far. Nothing bad has happened. Um, you're good? Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, does this look correct? I need more right there, I think. Tap, tap. And then we add more here. Or there. So yeah, this is a this is a very slow process, as you can see. And the reason that I'm making doing this so slowly is because I really want this to turn out really nicely. As you can see, the, uh, at least in my opinion, the trees and the sky have come out very nicely, the water as well. And this area, it's pretty much done, I'd say. Uh, pretty much spot on. And so, did you make th this from scratch or has it already started? Uh, yes, I've been painting this whole thing from scratch. Uh, this side of the image um, is, is, was all done from scratch. Uh, we have, right here, we have a um, just a thing that I cut out of here and copied over here just so I can see it a little bit easier and know what I'm supposed to be painting. 
And this is the image which I, I pulled from Google. Uh, yeah, so I probably shouldn't show it for too long because I'm a, it's probably copyrighted. Uh, the, the painting itself is not copyrighted, but the, uh, the uh, image that the person who took it might be holding on to the copyright. So, um, but I think it's okay because I think it's fair use because I'm using this for educational purposes. And, and the focus of the stream is not on that particular picture. It's on what I'm doing right here. Let's make it dark green. Add more colors. All right, now we'll start moving into the C. So we need a color up here. This looks good. Just a couple dots right here will be good. Yes. more saturated. Even more saturated. There we go. Alright. Swap. And fill. Alright. Looks good. How long have you been streaming for? Uh, 30 minutes? Okay, not bad, not bad. I think I'm gonna continue on for, oops, that's a bit too yellow. What color is that? I think I'm gonna continue on for maybe another hour and then we'll either take a break and come back or we'll just go and do something else like uh, maybe play some video games or something like that uh, go down here there we go that's close enough so going like this I have noticed in some places, especially like here, sometimes I get, tend to get these white spots, which are not very good. The reason that that happens is because I'm kind of afraid to move too close because I know that the brush is kind of feathered, and so it might mess up the other colors that you have around it. So, But if I keep the brush small, that's probably not going to happen. Um, Move up the blue. It's probably good. Okay. So, anyways, let's keep the conversation going. Uh, did you have? Looks looks amazing so far. How long have you been working on this? I've been working on this for a really long time. <laughs> uh, hmm. When did I start working on it? I don't know, it's been maybe weeks now. I mean, it's progress has been kind of slow. Uh, I've been, you know, working on it off and on. Uh, if I had to guess how many collective hours I've spent on it, I would say maybe... Uh, <laughs> 10 to 20? I mean, I don't keep too much track of time, but that, sound, that sounds about right. 10 to 20 hours of work. Um, so, 
Did you have school today? And if so, how was it? Did you learn anything? Anything interesting that you think you're going to be able to apply for the rest of your life? Because that's, uh, that's what I like to hear. I like to hear it when people are finding knowledge that they're going to use for the rest of their lives. Um, that looks good. Yeah, I know it's 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 a long time for to be working on uh, one project, but if you want it to be really good, you have to be willing to work hard. Nothing ever came to uh, people. Don't usually get successful in anything, in any goal, by uh, being lazy and well, well, not 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 necessarily by being lazy, but not by not uh, working hard. You got to put in a lot of time and effort if you want your goals to become real. Uh, yeah, so you did have school. It, it, it was boring except at lunch. We had like competitive games, uh, class versus class. Oh, okay. Games are fun. Uh, what kind of games were they? And did you win? That's that's a, a good question as, as well. Hopefully you won, but if not, that's fine. You can uh, always train and become better. You know, I used to be at the bottom of all my art classes, or, or well, not really at the bottom usually, but more at the you know bottom middle level. Like I usually wasn't the worst, but I wasn't the best either. And it was only uh, last semester at college that I really felt like I was starting to get to the top of the class and. Uh, it was a it was a beginning painting class, so perhaps uh, perhaps what was happening before because people t generally tend to take uh, beginning painting first before they go on to things like composition, color theory, uh, and uh, it, it, illustration and watercolor things like that. And so I ended up taking those more advanced classes first. So maybe what was going on there was I was feeling uh, more. You know, I was with the more advanced students, and so I wasn't feeling like I was measuring up. And then as my skills improved and I took the beginning classes, I felt like I was sort of above them. Uh, but it's okay. You know, art is not a competition. Uh, different people can do different things, and that's just the way it is, you know. Um, uh, it's throughout the week. Today was bike race and kickball, and sadly, sadly we lost. Okay. Well... It's it's fine, like I said. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to come back stronger, especially if uh, the other classmates were making fun of you. You're gonna show them, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hopefully they didn't make fun of you, but I don't know. I just do you ever watch Naruto? <laughs> that's that's where I. Uh, I, I watch that show a lot, and I can kind of relate to him because sometimes I have felt like I was at the bottom, and uh, now I'm working my way up to hopefully the top. Uh, we're getting a bit too saturated there. But hey, we got all week to catch up? Okay. Nice, nice. Make sure to do some uh, squats. Uh, if you if you really want to be, ex <laughs> we just trash talk. <laughs> also, like uh, you're like a. Uh, do you, do you also play Call of Duty? <laughs> that that would. I'm I'm sorry. Maybe maybe you do play Call of Duty. I don't know. I'm sorry. I sorry. I, I didn't I didn't mean any harm. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's good that you've got all week to catch up. Um, if you really want to get strong. I've got something 
I've got I've got a secret uh, exercise technique that you can use. Uh, don't tell anyone, but this is how uh, you can gain amazing powers. Uh, I haven't done this, but I, I I've heard that it works very, really well. But you have to do, as you have to do, 100 sit-ups, 100 push-ups, 100 squats, and a 10-kilometer run every single day for three years. Oh wait, no, you can't do that because you only have a week. Okay, well, if if you had three years to pre to prepare for a competition, I would recommend that. <laughs> if you uh, if you get the joke, by the way, props to you. Uh, it's it's from an anime called One Punch Man. That's that's how he says that he got his powers. Is he did a a hundred push ups, a hundred sit ups, a hundred. Uh, squats in a 10 kilometer run which by the way I, I would not recommend doing a 10 kilometer run because uh, apparently that's very harsh on your knees and you can easily injure yourself if you run that far every single day so you can do the push-ups and sit-ups though if you are up to the challenge uh, also listen to some inspiring music that'll help you you'll be like uh, oh my goodness how can I I cannot lose now that I'm listening to this inspiring music. Right now I'm listening to uh, Thousand Foot Crutch. They're, uh, they used to be a white boy rap group, and uh, now they are, you know, more heavy, heavy metal. <laughs> not the most, not the best music, but I still like it. Like, uh, if I played it on stream or if I played it in front of my friends, they would probably make fun of me. They're like, you listen to the worst music ever. What is wrong with you? Listen to some Nickelback. Great advice, thank you. It is my goal in life to make other people's lives better and to give them good advice. In fact, that's one of my main goals of my YouTube channel. You know, I want to be a good example for people. I want to uh, help people to realize that they don't have to be dirty ghetto kids in order to have fun and live a good life and be cool. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of uh, sarcastic, facetiously, uh, facetiously said, but. Yeah, I do, I do want to be a good example to people if I can. That's a good goal to have. Hmm. I'm going to fill in that area here. Ah, ah my neck. What might help if is if I... I just did the tablet up like this, but, or if I even, no, I can't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean back in my chair a little bit and hopefully that'll help me to keep my neck straight. That's the thing about being an artist. Your neck is the first part of your body to go. <laughs> Unless you have a good easel and stuff, which unfortunately I don't. Um, hopefully you can still see me. Hopefully I haven't slouched too far down so that nobody can see me anymore. Guys, I'm being sucked under the table. I'm being sucked. Help! Help! It's a portal! It's opened up! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I escaped, I escaped. <laughs> just kidding, it's just kidding. It's just a prank. It's just a prank, bro. It's just, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a prank. All right. There we go. That actually kind of felt, felt good to stretch like that. Uh, sadly, I have to go. Love the artwork you're doing. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for st stopping by, at least. Um, 
it's great to have someone to talk to you. And if you want to uh, view the rest of the stream, of course it's going to be up after your... You can come back and see uh, where I get to by the end of the day. So, see you later. Have fun. Stay awkward, my friend. See you later. I'm going to text one of my friends real fast. Texting them will not be necessary. I was going to ask them a dumb question, but I can, I can actually figure it out my, by myself, I think. For those of you still watching, I'm pretty hungry. I might have to get some food in a little bit. mouse isn't working. No, that doesn't look right. Okay.
I'm doing it this way just because it's easier to rapidly click than that way than to do it with the tablet. Sometimes I just like to scribble. All right, now we need a kind of bluish green for this area right here. I mean, I can actually probably start to remove some of this. Oh, wow, I, did, I drew an entirely straight line. That's, uh, wow, I'm so good at art. All right. Uh, we definitely need to darken this area, right? So let's put it almost black. There we go. That's too dark. See, the thing about me is that I have to, or is that I, I always go way too light whenever I'm. painting. It's a weakness that I have, but a weakness that can be overcome. Most weaknesses can be overcome if you are willing to put in the hard work. Some people just have to study a little bit more. Some things, for some people, it comes naturally. For others, it doesn't come naturally. So, But you just have to work with what you have. It's like uh, you know, people think that having an I a high IQ is really important, but it actually can be less important than you think because high IQ just means that you have the potential to gather a lot of knowledge. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're um, uh, going to gather the knowledge. So a person who has a lower IQ but gathers a lot more knowledge is going to be smarter than a person who has a high IQ and doesn't uh, do anything with their brain. So make sure that you do the most with what you have and you can definitely beat the people who have the higher IQs. Um. It's kind of a weird thing to say in a painting video but Yes. This is coming out beautifully. Oh my. My goodness me. Wow. Okay. 
Um, What if I put my camera right here? Would that help you to see better? Let's try that. It might fall though. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's working. What if we tilted up the tablet like this? Yeah, we'll try that for a little while. Looks very unstable though. I don't know. I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it. I'm going to put it back where it was. And then I can put my com my tablet in a comfortable position. All right, so now we're going to add some more green right there. So this is more of a bluish green. So we'll tilt it up there. Put this. Add there. Lighten. Another layer down there. Now blue. here. Uh, now what? More green, I think. Oops. Give it some more 
<coughs> we have a green color right there. Oh, that goes out way too far. All right, checking stuff. I'm gonna fill in that area too. Make that a little bigger. more green uh, for those of you just joining us I think I will go ahead and explain again what, I, what I'm doing here uh, this is basically a master study that I'm doing of Alessandro Magnasco's uh, Christ of the Sea of Galilee right here and uh, where we're basically copying the image over here by hand to unlock the or learn the master painter's secrets about what kind of colors he uses, what kind of brush strokes he uses, uh, things like that. So if you're wondering what we're doing, that's what we're, that's what, what the goal is right here. Uh, now you'll notice that unlike everything else in the image, the skin right here is a lot more saturated. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to switch brushes. reduce the opacity and just go over it and make it look a little more yellow. I'm not sure I actually like the changes that I made right there. Well, let's try. Maybe it's a bit too saturated. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And we definitely need to darken that well. Uh, flag. Oh, canvas to reduce the brush size. Turn more blue.
Looks like I just got a text. Oh. A friend of mine just posted a photo. I'll go ahead and take a look at it. Oh. They just got a uh, new video game. Apparently, Destiny came out with a new uh, expansion, or a new uh, thing, whatever they do in Destiny, or a new game, I mean. Uh, Destiny was never my thing, but I looks kind of cool. Um, wait, was Destiny? No, no, no. I'm thinking of Titanfall. I have a book on uh, the art of Titanfall, and it's actually pretty sick. It's a uh, beautiful, beautiful concept art that went to the production of that game. So beautiful, in fact, that I might actually buy the game just so I can look at the beautiful design work. Not even, you know, even though the online multiplayer is probably dead. Uh, I hear, though, that they may be coming out, or they have already come out with a uh, new Titanfall game, Titanfall 2. Which could be fun. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to take a break. I'm just going to go get something to eat and take a bathroom break. So. I'll just be right back.
Hello, I'm back. Sorry, that I know that was kind of a long break, but I, uh, I had to do it. It was very important. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. All right. Let's keep going after this. Okay, where were we? So yeah, this is Master Studies, guys. It's just about... seeing what's there in front of you and slowly blocking it in. That's, that's way off. Oops. Should probably get rid of that.
Okay. Oh, hi, Epic Gamer Zero. Uh, good to see you. It's been a while. Uh, how are you doing? Um, <clears throat> while I wait for you to answer, if you, uh, I'll, I'll just go ahead and explain what I'm doing right here. This is a uh, master study. Uh, in fact, I should probably update the title to reflect that. But this is a master study of Alessandro Magnosco's uh, Christ at the Sea of Galilee. So there's a master painting right there. You know, like the, the kind that you might find in a museum. And uh, here's my rendition of it over here. I've been painting it from scratch. And the purpose of this is to, uh, you know, learn his techniques and the things such as the color choices he makes. Uh, the composition, the brush strokes, things like that, to s just study it really closely and to figure out how to replicate uh, these things in uh, my art, hopefully, one of these days. So, um, you're doing good? Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, <coughs> Oops, what did I just do? They're here. Oh man, that was, that was frightening for one second. Okay. Uh, Road to Nomon, Master Studies, number one. Uh, ep uh, episode one, Master, no, 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 wait. That looks awesome, no, thank you. I've been working very hard on it. It's probably been uh, Master Studies number one, yeah. There we go. So basically what we're doing is we're just uh, doing a digital painting. We're just blocking in the forms. I've got a, this is a copy that I took from the other image. And now we're just basically uh, drawing it in. Uh, hello, Clara. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name. Uh, <laughs> I would never have, he says, uh, he or she says, I would never have that much patience. This seems so impossible. Nice job. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it, I won't argue with you there. It does take a lot of patience, but, uh, most anything that you want to get good at, if it is, uh, you know, worth, uh, getting good at, and, you know, if it will get you anywhere in life, it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience to, uh, get done. But the thing is, though, you have to, uh, when you find something that you really, really like, such as, uh, for me, this is painting, for you it might be something else, it doesn't feel like work anymore, you know? There, there are just some things where you can just work on them for hours and hours, and uh, it doesn't feel like you have to be patient in order to do it. So, uh, now what should we do? I think we're just gonna do like the bank right here and then maybe we'll call it a this a video or this is stream because we've been streaming for close to an hour and 30 minutes now which is around where I plan to stop and uh, take a break or do something else um, hold on let me see let me see one thing Okay. 
I was going to ask uh, Epic Gamer Zero if uh, if Clara was a friend of yours, but um, because uh, look at looking at the tiny tiny chat bubbles, uh, your profile pictures look kind of similar. But now I see it's. I, I thought at first it might be like a, a an, another picture of an orange fox in there, but okay. You you guys are probably complete strangers, but uh, yeah. Why don't you introduce yourselves and uh, get to know each other? This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Um. <laughs> We've got some. Got some orange in there. Where? No, that's too orange. There we go, that looks like about right. Um, so, uh, did you guys have school today? If so, how was it? Clara says, yes, school is pretty good. Okay, glad to hear about that. Uh, and Epic Gamer Series says, no, I didn't really sick. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I hope you get better soon. Um, and uh, f as for me, I... Uh, I was sick too, but I hate to miss classes. It's a lot of work to make up all the homework. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get that. Um, I did not have school today. I... Uh, this is basically my homework. What I'm doing right now is I'm I'm not in college anymore. I uh, I'm taking a leave of absence to try to update my portfolio and learn artwork a little bit better. So that's what you're doing. What I'm doing right now. I'm I'm homeschooling myself, right? Because the thing about art is that you don't really have to have a college degree in order to be successful. Uh, college is a good place to learn. Uh, things, but it's very expensive, and if you have the discipline to do it yourself, it's, it's actually advisable to do that, because you can get so much more value for, um, you know, the money. Uh, <coughs> Epic says, my sickness is very contagious. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not good. Uh, what color is that? It's more like a yellow. There we go. Oh, don't tell me you have pink eye. That would be... <laughs> that would be uh, funny and ironic. I'm sorry I'm making a joke out of your uh, your sickness. I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. But I don't know. At the same time, some people... Sometimes humor can be a good medicine. Uh, he says, I don't know, but if I cough, it will go into the air and it will make other people sick, so I can't go to school for it. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Well, uh, please do try to 
make your time off productive though. For a week, you have your time is going to be truly your own, and whether or not it's going to be productive is up to you. So, I would if you can, I would encourage you to honor to do something. Um, I would uh, I would I, I like to read. I read a lot of books about art and about business because those are my uh, two main career choices. Oh, you don't have pink eye? Yeah. Pink eye is not particularly spread through uh, through coughing. Pink eye is spread through the internet. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, maybe consider reading a book or something like that. That'll it'll help you uh, help this time not to go to waste. But if you're if you're too sick and you just want to get your mind off your um, your sickness, uh, please, you know, you know, maybe you need to just take a week off or so. Just just take it easy, do whatever you want. I just got a magazine at the uh, bookstore, and they were talking about how sometimes one of the best things that you can do for your brain is to take a week off and uh, give it some rest. So maybe that's what you need to do, or maybe you can do some stuff as well. Um, Claire says, I enjoy art too, but I mainly draw manga and anime if you know what that is yeah I know what that is um, I uh, I'm a fan of anime I can't really draw that well uh, but I, I've never really tried to learn is a thing I bought a uh, Mark Curley book on how to draw anime though or how to draw manga I mean it's called mastering manga I don't know if you've ever heard of it it's pretty good Mark Curley is a pretty good artist I like um, I like his stuff. I also have this book over there. Uh, it's like a photorealism book. What program do you use? I use I use uh, Photoshop CC or Creative Cloud. Um, I like to watch uh, anime though, and I like to read manga a little bit. I like anime more though. But uh, my favorite animes right now is uh, Naruto. I I really liked. Um... Oh, you have that book as well. Cool, it's a nice book. I also I also like. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. I really like uh, My Little Monster. Uh, it's unfortunate that the that the anime ended, but the uh, manga is still still there. I'm looking for the uh, sixth book in the series, but. The, none of the bookstores have them. They have like every single other book in the series, but not the sixth one. <laughs> so, unfortunately, though, I, I lent my copy of the fifth uh, book because that's where the manga ended or the anime ended, and they haven't returned it to me. So, which it's it's funny because that's the that book is the one thing that I have in my anime collection or my manga collection sorry and so they are literally in possession of my entire manga collection and I have not gotten it back yet I I think we're gonna have to get that back from them soon but I ended up getting a uh, just recently I ended up getting a my ordinary life uh, a copy of the first book so now they are no longer in possession of my entire manga collection so they have been defeated but I still need to get that one book book back. That was kind of so. It's kind of it's kind of a hollow a hollow victory. I mean, I really liked the My Ordinary Life anime as well. That was super funny, super funny. Um, I I really love to laugh. And that show is pretty funny. It uh, it almost made me laugh until I cry. I don't. I cried. I don't think I've ever laughed and really laughed until I cried though. A friend of mine's checking checking up on me. He says, "How's your work going?" He's my accountability partner. Cause sometimes it can be difficult to motivate yourself. Hold on, I'm just gonna text him real fast. Why don't you check for yourself? Question mark. 
go to youtube.com slash pinkeyetheglitch and take a look at my live stream period. Live stream, not live stream. That's my favorite show, uh, Modern Your Life. Yeah, I love that show. I have a, I have the uh, collection on DVD because they removed it from Crunchyroll. I'm I'm still crying about that. You know, I was thinking, uh, that show didn't do very well when it first came out, but, uh, and and they say that it was probably that it was just bad timing because there were some other shows that were coming out that were a lot more popular and that were distracting from it, and so now I believe that the world is ready to receive that show and it's growing in popularity a lot more. You know, a lot of more people are watching it and uh, talking about it, and so I was thinking, what if we got together and if we like contacted the creators and said, "Hey, do you think that we can, uh, if we can raise a certain amount of money to get you guys to do your, sh make your show again? You know, would you start it up again?" Oh, hey, Dog World, how's it going? Um, but yeah, the the only reason that they stopped making it is because they ran out of money, and so like if we can if we can raise the money and if we can get the uh, all the correct, uh, you know, a, a whole bunch of signatures, I mean, so they, so we can prove that there's an interest in the show again. Maybe we can get it to start again. Hey, Lego Luke 26. So uh, let me show you what I've been uh, working on. Everyone, this is Lego Luke 26. He is my accountability partner. He's uh, making sure that I work and that I don't slack off. So I'll just show you what I'm working on real fast. This is a master study of Alessandro Magnosco's Christ at the Sea of Galilee, it's in the title, uh, but he's a painter that I really admire, and so I'm basically doing a study of his painting over here. I've done this all from scratch, this is taking maybe um, 20, uh, 20 hours or so, uh, and yeah, it's we're close to, we're about halfway done, I'd say, but it's it's pretty slow, so... Maybe another uh, 20 hours to go before we finish this. Um, Clark says, the quality is great too. It could be really popular. I agree. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're having a conversation in the chat. Okay. But let me just tell you, the reason that I like this painting so much is because it uh, combines two of my favorite things that uh, you can have in art, uh, or, you know, subject matter, at least. It combines biblical imagery, uh, so you see Jesus right here, and then there's Peter sinking in the water, just like in the story, and as well as a really, really awesome-looking landscape. Check out those clouds, too, in the, the water. It's all really great, and if you look r closely right here, you can see this... this scene right here could be a whole entire painting itself. Um, but it's almost like two paintings in one since you have the landscape and the uh, figures as well. Uh, Epic Gamer says, I'm going to go check up, uh, catch up on some YouTube videos to so keep up the good work. Hope you get to finish the digital painting. Yes, thank you. Alright, uh, hope you have a good time with that. Um, make sure to watch plenty of Bug-Eyed Reply Man. That's a uh, very good for you to watch Bug Eyed Reply Man. Um, I'll go ahead and. Uh, how long are you planning to stream today? I was actually uh, about to finish. Um, I think that I'm just going to complete this part, like the bank down here, and then I'm going to call it a day because I've been streaming for almost two hours now. And uh, I need to take a break and I need to get up and uh, move around, exercise, you know, not. Uh, die of a hard tech because of how sedentary I'm being. Alright, we'll just add in this area. Right? Yeah, this goes right here. It's a bit too light though. I'm going to move it down, move it over a bit. 
I'm gonna go on top of that with this. Darker, darker. There we go. And I'll use a smudge brush to soften those edges. Oops. Now we'll unsoften these edges right here. I guess harden would be the correct word there, right? There's a little bit more jagged. Get rid of the anti-aliasing on the painting. Um, oh, Ryan, hey. Good to see you. Uh, and got a lot of more people tuning in. Unfortunately, this is getting close to the end of the uh, broadcast, but I'm glad you're here. Uh, Lego 26 says, nice, it's looking great. Thank you. I've been working very hard on it, so I would hope that it would look nice. What the heck? Oh dear. I've been painting on the wrong layer. I actually sub to you after seeing your realism texture pack video. Do you ever use it once in a while? Mm. <laughs> actually, no. It's uh, that texture pack is very, very uh, tough on my computer. And if I uh, if I'm gonna be playing some competitive games, I have to like you know um, ultra hardcore or something like that. I need to have it uh, like the graphics turned down so that I can turn the render distance up as well. So, um, but it's very good, especially for me since I'm an artist and I make like a lot of my YouTube thumbnails and stuff like that. <coughs> For me to be able to take really, really beautiful, beautiful um, uh, screenshots for my uh, YouTube thumbnails. So that's that's one reason that I use that. Um, you know what I think I might do? Control X. And then Control then can we paste in place, edit, paste special, paste, paste in place. Yeah, there we go. Now we merge these. Now what's that? Huh, it looks like there's some. Okay, that's not too big of a deal. We'll fix that. Uh... Fix that in a little bit. All right, all right. Um, okay, okay, refocus, refocus. All right, what's that color right there? That's like a, that looks right. I should I should uh, I suppose I should ask you Clara um 
what are some some of your other uh, favorite animes or mangas? I told you all about mine, so why don't we talk about yours now? Sorry, I get kind of zoned out when I paint. Don't always thinking about things I should say or do. They say Ajin Demi Human, Samurai Ch uh, Champloo, Hunter x Hunter. I've heard of that one. OPM K, Noragami Soul Leader, and Ald Aldnoa Zero. Uh, I think I've heard that one or that one before. I can't remember what it's about. Um, I have others, but those are my favorites. Oh, nice. Uh, I get I get zoned out easily too. I'll be focused in a book, and then all of a sudden, everyone that was around me is gone. Oh yeah, you you were so into reading that you lost all your friends. I'm sorry. Hopefully they came back though once they realized what what a mistake they made. They were like, you know what? Who needs Clara? We we will you will do fine without her, or him. And uh, or it's, it's, sorry. Sometimes sometimes people. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't know, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, we will be fine without them, they say, uh, using a non-gender specific uh, pronoun. Um, and we will, then they realize the mistake that they made, and they're like, oh man, why do we do that? We should go back and apologize. Because we'll probably end up working for that person since they're always reading. Uh, what kind of things do you like to read, by the way? I um, I like to read just like a nonfiction, practical books. Uh, besides, besides a uh, manga, of course. Okay, I think I'm gonna use the, uh, there's like a, which one is it? Yeah, this is probably gonna lag out my computer, but. It may be necessary. You know what, we'll, we'll use the uh, bristles brush. Bristle two, no. Bristle one should do it. There, that'll serve as our transition hider. Manga or mystery? I've really enjoyed the original Sherlock Holmes books. Oh, nice. I uh, I haven't read those, but I do like Sherlock Holmes. Um, just from like a stories that I've heard. 
But uh, the bookstore does have some pretty good deals on Sherlock Holmes books, so maybe I'll take a look at it. There we go, we'll add some texture there. We'll probably go back and uh, change that up a little bit, but... Do you play any sports? Um, no, not competitively. Like, I do... I play airsoft, which is like paintball, but with a tiny plastic pellet, so it hurts less. And that's pretty fun. That's, uh, it's pretty much a normal sport, you might say. Um, you know, there are teams, and there's a field, and there's a win condition, right? Uh, and you can play a bunch of different game modes, like uh, capture the flag, or uh, zone control, or just team deathmatch. So it's, it's like Call of Duty in real life, basically. And you can have uh, some pretty cool guns, and go out in the field, they've got like a bunch of rooms and a bunch of uh, covers set up. And it's basically two on two, two teams on two. Uh, in addition to that, uh, if esports count, I play uh, some video games. I play Hearthstone, but I'm not. I'm nowhere near good enough to be able to compete. But it's it's okay though because I still have a lot of fun doing my own thing. I don't think I should have done that. Okay, okay. Uh, do you play any sports, by the way? I'm guessing you play uh, basketball or volleyball. Those are pretty popular sports. Maybe, uh, maybe hockey? Hockey's a good one. Uh, Lego Luke 26 plays hockey. He, he's pretty good at it, I hear. One day, maybe I'll, uh, let him teach me how to play hockey. Or, uh, at least how to ice skate. I know how to ice skate, but, uh, I could definitely improve. You know, learn how to. Uh, go faster or skate backwards. Those would be the two things that I think would be fun for me to learn, even though I don't play hockey. And I'll tell you what, guys. Um... Uh, it's getting pretty, uh, this live stream's been going on for a pretty long time, so I think I'm going to end it in uh, maybe eight more minutes or so, get it to a good and even ten hours long, or two hours long. I used to be a goalie in hockey, but decided to focus on my art. Hockey's a big deal where I live, so I still go out and skate once in a while. Oh, nice. Uh, well, you would be great friends with Lego League 26. He plays hockey. Um, uh, do you live in... Uh, I don't know, where's it? Where, uh, where do you live that hockey is a, a big deal? I mean... It's probably somewhere cold, right? So maybe Canada or something? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. You don't have to tell me where you live if you don't want to, but I'm just curious. Uh, but I am glad to hear, though, that you are focusing on what's important to you. It's the right decision um, to make. You can 
they say that you can have anything that you want in life, but not everything. So you can't, or at least it would be very difficult to uh, be a really good hockey player and a really good artist as well. So sometimes you have to make your priorities and then stick with it. That's okay. Minnesota and people here don't don't have big accents like most people think though. Oh. I never I never thought of Minnesota as, as having <laughs> crazy accents, but I don't know. I don't I don't think I've ever been to Minnesota. Is it uh do you like it there? Is the weather nice? Is it nice and cold for hockey? It's the best, nice weather, music, people, and outdoor activities. It's a nice place to live. Oh, cool. I, uh, I'm glad to hear you, that you like it there. Maybe I'll come and visit one day. Uh, the state, I mean. I kind of don't like to travel, but the fact of the matter is that I'll probably uh, <laughs> I, I'll probably end up marrying someone who likes to travel, and then I'll be forced to do it. They're gonna be like, "Let's go traveling," and I'm gonna be like, "Eh, fine." My love for you, whoever you are, is greater than my hatred of traveling. But then they're going to be like, let's go out of the United States. And I'm going to be like, no. <laughs> the United States is the best place in the whole entire world. Why on earth would you want to leave? We can do fine just here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That might be a good compromise. All right. You should. You would probably like it. Maybe you could uh, come for one of the cons here. Oh, I um, I don't. I don't uh, go to many cons. The only con that I go to is uh, Anime Expo in uh, Los Angeles, because that's uh, sort of close to where I live, and I can uh, get over there pretty easily. Uh, you don't like to travel. I don't like to travel much either. This is why I sub to you. You're hilarious. <laughs> oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Some people don't get my humor, and they think that it's uh, boring. But, or well, not not boring, but that it, it it gets they get tired of it. So, I'm glad that you could uh, be the person who is actually happy about about the kind of humor I have. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That actually, that actually does mean a lot to me. Um, where? Which one? There we go. We don't need that there. 
Well, I'll, anyways, I'll keep on uh, being hilarious and stuff like that, and uh, hopefully you'll never grow dissatisfied with the content that I produce. Hi, Nico Plays. Uh, good to see you again. And thank you for tuning into the stream last time, too. That was uh, nice to see you. Unfortunately, uh, this stream is about to end in like one minute or so, because <laughs> I've really got to go. Uh, got some family over. I want to say hello to them. And I also need to, uh, I don't know, maybe get some cleaning done, maybe run some errands. I don't know. Uh, sorry about that, man. Uh, kind of bitter luck. But you know what? Uh, I might stream tomorrow, too. Uh, this These streams have been going pretty well. I'm pretty satisfied with the results uh, and with the turnout. It's nice to have some people to talk to as well while I'm doing my work, so thank you guys for being there for me, and uh... Okie dokie. Yes. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. This is the painting that we've got so far. I'll go ahead and explain it to you before I uh, end the stream, but Basically, this is a master study of this painting right here. This is Alessandro Magnasco's Christ at the Sea of Galilee. So you can see Jesus right there, and then there's Peter. He's sinking in the water. And uh, we got this beautiful landscape. And also this uh, uh, beautiful uh, biblical story right here. I'm, I'm a Christian, so I love to uh, look at, bi uh, you know, uh, biblical-inspired uh, paintings. So... The reason I really like this painting is because it's like two two paintings in one, right? You've got this scene right here and then the whole landscape, which is really cool. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I've been working on this for a long time now, for maybe about 20 hours, and this today we just uh, blocked in like this area right here. Just the bank under his feet and the uh, the sea. <laughs> and, and we corrected some of the colors over here, which were kind of off. Oh, Craner? Yeah. I, uh, I, I submitted that picture to uh, Craner Friends, but he ended up not using it, so that was that was really sad. I worked hard on that painting. Um, I'm drawing right now, too. Kind of cool to talk to someone, uh, Clara says. This, this is very amazing. You should be really proud of it. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Um, with that, though, I, I've been streaming for about two hours now, so I think I should... Uh, get off, stretch, maybe take a walk or something like that. Uh, so thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Make sure that you uh, are looking for the next stream tomorrow. It'll probably be around the same time, I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know. But just just uh, um, keep an eye out, basically. You know, turn notifications on this channel on if, if you're interested. Uh and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Uh, Clara says one more thing. Manga and anime is very simple compared to this, so I bet you can master it easy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a... Uh... Hmm. It's, it's not exactly the uh, style that I'm uh, interested in mastering, but I could probably stand to uh, improve my skills in, a little, in it a little bit. I really like the uh, hair, definitely, the nice colors and the spikes and stuff <laughs> okay so um yeah anyways see you guys next time uh and as always stay awkward my friends and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye